Hi, I'm William Tenholder, and as you probably know by now, I've been playing for over 50 years. And uh, I like to bring sometimes a game that is great for beginners and intermediates, um, something to learn from. And so, you know, I'll go through this fairly quickly, uh, but it has a lot of subtle tricks of the trade, uh, things that, you know, can help you to win. So let's take a look. Um, you know, this opening is a, a very sharp line. Uh, and I don't recommend it to everybody. Because if uh, e5, pawn, uh, then the knight has to jump over to the uh, d5 square. And that becomes, you, you really have to study that and practice it. Um, however, uh, against most um, uh, players... They're not going to play the e5 pawn, but they could. So, let's move along. They come out with the queen, and this is where, you know, the saying is, if the queen comes out early, you have to try to punish the queen. Uh, so, this is what I warn. Now, I solidified right away with e5, uh, just to make sure that uh, we didn't get the white pawn moving up. Uh, so, you know, it's already looking dangerous this is often taught to bring out the queen to bring out the bishop attacking the f7 pawn and it can be very effective but this is how you deal with it just bring your queen out okay uh, now the pawn is protected by the king and the queen um, which is okay if it's the queen that's involved but if the knight and bishop are involved this doesn't do you any good. You have to find other tactics. So let's go on. The knight is now coming in to join in on the attack that is easily refuted, and this is the way you do it. So step number one, you got the queen in the, in the action. Step number two, you made sure that the knight cannot come in, and now that knight is stuck in the corner. So they have now problems to deal with. They castle... And uh, I further deal with these aggressive moves because obviously they've been watching a video or, or two and uh, trying out some aggressive moves. Um, they're in a difficult position now. Uh, they didn't really do it very well. But uh, now it's just a simple solidification for black. And black has a great strong position. Um, they're going to tr further develop. And uh, so now we can see the weaknesses in their position. Now, uh, they have to move uh, the queen. It has very few places to go to. And now we'll skip through this pretty quickly because it's a, a pretty simple set of circumstances. The queen pulls a very, very good move here. And lands on c8 check now in some cases that would be checkmate in some cases however now we just bring down the queen and see do they want to exchange uh, well they decided to take the pawn now there are some a few ways to deal with that bring out the knight okay then bring out the rook and chase the queen away Queen takes a pawn, which is great, because now we have two open files to attack on the queen side. I don't mind the, the loss of pawns, because now we have a lot to do, uh, and we, we can get things done. So, this is the first step, is to trap the queen. The queen is now in a trap, and they could lose the queen if they're not careful. Um, they take the knight that was on f4, and we take, let's look at that again, we take the bishop. Uh, that was important, because that bishop was trouble, right, from the very beginning. Um, so now there can be a take-take kind of situation. They take, we take. Nice. Now we've eliminated all of their active pieces. 
no threats, and we have the two files A and B to play with. Let's see how this works. They come with a check, but that's easily refuted, again by the queen. Nice to have the queen near the king. And we'll see how this plays out. This will prove to be the deciding factor in this game. Queen moves because they don't want to exchange yet. And so now we want to keep that knight, the white knight, on c3. We don't want it to come up. Uh, that would be very, very tragic. So we must move that c6 pawn. And uh, so now they do have an x-ray attack on the queen, uh, which includes a pin on the pawn, right? So um, it's, uh, it's a little tricky. This is how you deal with it. You've got to develop and open up, and maybe you may have to castle, right? Um, usually I like to castle earlier in the game. Uh, this has been a tricky game. And, um, you know, kudos to this uh, player. They're really, really uh, doing a great job. So, again, you know, cracking open. And this is a pretty good player, right? I mean, they know what they're doing. Uh, crack open the center with that pawn move to c5. Now, let's shorten this up. And this is the way you win games, okay? You have to have an eye. Where is the checkmate square? Right? 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 Checkmate. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this game. That's the way you do it. Keep an eye on the checkmate square. Um, this was just a brilliant ending. It was a brilliant game. I'm William Tenholder. Have a great evening.